So today we're going to talk about water spinning. This is uh, just a simple magnetic spinner from Amazon, about 28 bucks. And it comes with uh, a little magnetic pill, you see right here. And I find it better if it work if I use a dish. So I use this dish right here, and then the pill sits here, and then it spins better on that. So when I use a larger vessel than this jar, um, I, I use this little dish. But since I'm not sure it's going to fit in there, we're just going to use the pill for now. So I just drop it in there. And then I just turn this guy on. It doesn't have to be real fast. Get it centered so it doesn't make too much noise. I turn it up a little bit. And we get a nice vortex. Now this is um, what some people are saying restructures the water. That by putting our water through 90 degree angles and under pressure and pipes and so forth that it loses its structure and there's been some talk about um, the way the water molecules connect together and that they are most efficient when there's six of them together or something <clears throat> so my information on this is not very complete but uh, I found this to be fascinating and seemed like uh, um, a reasonable thing. I'd also studied uh, some energy water and a number of things over the last few years, so I went ahead and tried to and started decided to experiment with this. And I let this run for a while. And I'll use a really big pot uh, when I'm making a whole batch of water. I also soak them in some herbs, but that's another story. I don't really know how long it needs to go, or much more about it. Um, I usually let it run for an hour or so, but I'm doing a whole lot more than this, a really large, really large pot. So anyway, there's what I'm doing for water spinning. Let me know what you think and if you guys have other thoughts about this concept of spinning water. Thank you. Aloha.